Brandon's one of a kind, but the best thing about Chelsea is that she lets Brandon be Brandon. They say you need a balance to each other, and in each other, you found that. Having been Brandon's roommate for so long, Chelsea, I feel like you are our third roommate, and I just can say that I appreciate everything and you looking after us. Brandon and Chelsea's love is so evident to everyone around them. It's so clear that they are each other's person. They make us all believe in true love. There is nothing more beautiful than getting to watch one of our best friends live her happiest life with the person she loves. Brandon is the best friend a guy could ask for. His genuine thirst for life is something I admire greatly. Chelsea, I feel like you've been through the fold with us forever. We're also lucky that Brandon brought Chelsea into our lives and cheers to the Schwab. One of the first questions that Brandon ever asked me when we met, what was one good thing that happened to you this week? I had never been asked that question before, and it made me stop and think. As we get closer to what is sure to be the best day of your life tomorrow, I want you to remember that you will no longer have to ask yourselves, what is the best thing that happened to me this week? With this ring, you consecrated. Unto me. Unto me. As my wife. As my wife. According to the law of God. According to the law of God. And the faith of Israel. And the faith of Israel. With this ring, be you consecrated. Unto me. Unto me. As my husband. As my husband. According to the law of God. And the faith of Israel. And the faith of Israel. Over the last six and a half years, Brandon has led a debate amongst the four of us about who's known who longer. I'm happy to report that according to a very reputable source, Facebook, Brandon, we in fact have known each other for one year longer. Chelsea, they may have us by a year, but it's been the most amazing 12 years being best friends. Remember our first lunch date in the dining hall at Towson? You may have been just as nervous to do lunch with me as you were on your first date with Brandon, but we both clearly hit it off because here we are today. After all, not just any best friend can stand up here at almost 38 weeks pregnant. They were going out for five and a half years. Everyone was waiting. Many people met and got engaged and married for them. And we were waiting for the call. We were waiting for him to call. And one day he texted us last January and said, can I come over? And we said, this is it. This is it. This is the call. He had a whole speech on his phone and we were just so happy and we all hugged and had a drink and we were so excited. Brandon was in his glory, crazy, but he had the time of his life and it was so nice to see Chelsea grabbing the microphone also and dancing up on the stage. So it was nice that she joined the spotlight with him. The moment that Chelsea was born, she was an absolute joy. She was fun and happy. She would literally stop traffic when we would walk with her in the stroller. She was always having fun, singing. Everybody always wanted to be around her. Brandon had a very big personality. He was always happy, he was sweet. He was caring, he was always a leader, he loved nature. He had this ability to talk to young and old people. I would always get compliments from people who would always call me and say, oh my God, your little boy, he's so personable, he's so friendly. That was Brandon. Once it started going, it was amazing. Everything fell into place. I mean, now it feels like kind of like a blur, but it just went, it went so fast, but Seeing everyone who came for them, and we know everyone wanted to be there. It was just so exciting. Chelsea had been a bridesmaid for their weddings, and these girls did so much for her. Look, okay. Gorgeous. Why are you crying? Beautiful. You look so beautiful.
Wow. There's two sets of documents. Uh, one is the, the license from the state and one is the ketubah, um, which is the Jewish document. And when we have both of these signed, you are married. On this day of great celebration and joy, on the first day of the week, the 27th day of the month of Nisan in the year 5784, which corresponds to the fourth day of May in the year 2024 in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, USA, Brandon Alexander Schwab, son of Debbie and Michael, and Chelsea Taylor Yaffe, daughter of Glenn and Karen, spoke the words and performed the rites which united their lives and affirmed their love in the presence of God's blessings and in accordance with the laws of Moses and Israel. You are my best friend, my hope and future, my strength, my soulmate. Standing proudly beside you, in your eyes I see my love, and in your heart I see my dreams. And in our promise, I see a union true and steadfast, uniquely devoted to compassion, kindness, and sincerity through all time and space. There has been no love like ours, and our story will unfold with beauty, grace, and meaning. We pledge to cherish and sustain each other, meeting life's trials with quiet strength and courage, and meeting life's blessings with wonder, joy, and laughter. We will grow as individuals and delight in an elegant freedom born from mutual respect. What got me just was Brandon breaking down when he saw Chelsea walk down the aisle with her parents. My daughter was telling me from the sideline, Brandon's crying. So then I looked and I looked at him and I, at one point after he turned to me, and I'm like, Brandon, stop now because you're gonna make us all cry. We stand together this evening underneath the kuppah, the bridal canopy under which generations of Jewish men and women have stood side by side ready to make a, a lifetime commitment to each other. So do you, Chelsea and Brandon, do this evening. So since this is your Jewish home, you've each brought something that represents your own holiness. Chelsea, these candlesticks, and Brandon, this Kiddush cup. So I'm going to ask you first, if you would, Chelsea, to take the candles, to light the candles, and as you light them, we pray that the warmth and the light be only a small sample of the light and the warmth that you shine now upon your new husband. And now we lift up our cup. For the two of you at this moment, it becomes symbolically a cup of life. When you drink from it this evening, you are saying with your action that you commit to sharing a cup of life with each other, that all the, the events that come from this day forward will be made more, more special and more wonderful because you share them together. And so now, I ask you in the presence of God and this loving assembly of friends and family, do you, Brandon, take Chelsea to be your wife, to love, to honor, and to cherish? If so, say yes. Yes. And Chelsea, do you take Brandon to be your husband, to love, to honor, and to cherish? If so, say yes. Yes. Reb Nachman of Bratslav, a famous Hasidic rabbi, used to say, all of life is but a singing and a dancing before God. Chelsea and Brandon, I know you understand that because it is so true of the two of you. You sing and you dance and you celebrate life every day. But that's not all. You don't just sing and dance before God in that literal sense. I think you do it in ways that perhaps run even deeper. Chelsea, you do it in your work by bringing compassion and kindness and caring into the lives of children and families you work with every day. And Brandon, you do it with your enormous energy and enthusiasm and your incredible talent for bringing people together. You do it as well in the joy and the delight you bring to others around you, your families. But here is something I also know. It is a fine thing to sing and dance before God but what is infinitely better is to find the right partner with whom you dance and you move together as one. So Brandon and Chelsea, tonight is the culmination of all that singing and dancing before God. You do it surrounded by your many, many friends. You do it surrounded by your family and most of all, you do it with each other. May God's presence be close to you and may God grant you 
Shalom. Peace in the world, peace in your home, peace in your heart. Every day of what we pray will be a long and wonderful life together. And let's all say, Amen. Mazel tov. Chelsea, when you're invited to go with Danny to Brian's birthday party, and you and Brandon started talking with the group, and you had a great night, and then the next day, Brandon reached out to Danny and said, who is that beautiful girl, Chelsea Yath? Danny's like, this is my friend Chelsea from Towson. And Brandon's like, you think she'll want to go out with me? started dating after that and they dated long distance. Brandon came to Philly, Chelsea went to New York. And after about a year, Chelsea decided to move up to New York to get closer to Brandon and all her friends. You two are a perfect couple. You support each other, enjoy each other's company. Everyone here tonight is celebrating you as a couple. Whether you're with family, Friends who are like family, camp friends, college friends, any kind of friends. We all want to be around you too and see what amazing things are going to happen in your life. That's all with Chelsea and Brandon, Mazel Tov, and L'Chaim. Most couples have something in common that um, sort of stands out above all other traits. And for the two of them, I would say it is empathy. That I've never met two people that care for others at the highest level. It's not about what's important to them, what's going on in their lives, uh, how their day was. It really is about how others feel and how others are engaged in what they do each and every day and how they bring joy and energy to their friends and family and uh, everybody in fact in this room. And I feel very fortunate uh, standing here again today uh, in looking around the room and saying that uh, not only do I feel the love of Chelsea and Brandon for uh, the family members of the Yaffies and the Schwabs, but I really do believe it transcends the entire room and they really do appreciate all the goodness that uh, all of you bring. If I had a crystal ball, I'd say just a lovely life, being best friends to each other, just sharing everything, just the way his parents do, the way my husband and I do, We're having lots of friends and family around, just continuing what they have. They really do know each other really well. They've been together now for six and a half years. Chelsea, you're an absolute ray of sunshine. Always there through thick and thin. Everyone who has been graced by your presence absolutely loves you. I truly can't remember a time when you weren't there. You inspire me to prioritize my well-being. Our friendship, like yin and yang, balances us perfectly. Brandon, your warm, quirky, fun-loving guy that for some unknown reason loves reptiles more than dogs. You genuinely care about how others are doing and spread positivity. It's been so great becoming so close to you, and I can't wait for all the memories we'll make together. Brandon's most impressive skill is his ability to find the most expensive bottle of alcohol in any liquor store and then charge it to my parents' credit card. But his second most impressive skill is his ability to quickly connect with people at a very deep level. And Brandon, we are so happy that you found someone to connect with at the deepest level and that you found someone to spend the rest of your life with. In the coming years, I just see their lives filled with good health and happiness, lots of grandchildren for me, lots of children for them, and just a beautiful life together.
Yeah, get this. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, it worked. Uh -oh. That's it. She's fucking <laughs> weird. Jay Richard! <laughs> Initial plans for the wedding included a beer bong during the hora, 10 milligram gummies on each table, two friends performing, and a petting zoo during cocktail hour. For what it's worth, it was actually Debbie's idea for the petting zoo. She was very pro petting zoo. <laughs> Yes, all my mother wanted this evening was for farm animals during a black tie event. More alpacas, she shouted.